Hey guys, in this video we'll see how to fade in, fade out the voiceover or music in Filmora, and we'll also see how to play around with the music using keyframes in the Filmora application. But before that, if you are new to this channel, then do subscribe to our channel. We have some amazing Filmora related tutorials, so do check them out. Hey guys, so let's get started with the tutorial. As you can see, I have two audio files in this video in this uh, bin. Media bin. So first, I will drag this into the timeline. So the first effect that we'll be having a look at is a fade in, fade out of audio. So let me just cut short this video. Oh, sorry, audio. So as you can see, this is the audio file. As you can see here, there is a distribution. This is a video timeline, and this below is an audio timeline. This will be uh, uh, differentiated by an audio note sync audio note symbol so you what you can do if you want to see more waveforms you can increase this height uh, by dragging this up and down in the left side or you can just right click and go to adjust track height and go to big nor big small or normal so we'll keep normal for this tutorial so this is the audio so if you want to get a more detailed audio structure you can just stretch it by either stretching from here or from here so you will be able to see more clearly edit the audio waveform so as you can see we are over here now so let's just decrease this waveform size now so the first thing we will do is fade in and fade out once you go over to the audio you can see there is a marker appearing over both the ends of this audio file so if you hover over it there will be a stretcher so if you stretch this this will create a shade of dark and light like this so what this means this is a fade in so as you can see the audio will gradually increase similarly if you want to fade out this you can hover over it and you can see a marker so if you decrease this this is a gradual fade out so this will tell you uh, how the audio will fade out from this point that is 15 seconds it will gradually go on decreasing so this is one method of doing a fade in and fade out other one is you can just double click and you will be taken to this window so here you can see uh, there is a fade in option if you drag this you can see the changes happening over here so let me just drag this as you can see and this is the fade out option so if you increase or decrease this you can see the changes in down in the audio track so this is the second method of uh, doing and fade in and fade out now let's go to the second part of this video which is audio keyframing now for this tutorial what i will do i will add another audio file uh, i will try to add it uh, above it so as you can see new uh, if you go on adding the audio file new multiple uh, tracks are being created automatically so this is basically a voiceover file this above one so what might happen if you were speaking sometimes at this particular instance you might want to decrease the audio and increase the audio so what you will do so you will need to decrease the audio file below this so what you will do you will double click and here there is a keyframe option in the left hand side so here down you will see a keyframe type of symbol so just click on it a keyframe will appear in the of audio file so now go ahead so i will uh, take this much area as the total area where i want the audio to gradually decrease and then increase so after that i will go over here a little bit ahead add another keyframe and then little bit ahead at this is the end so i will add another one here now when i drag this up and down as you can see let me just drag this away as you can see when i drag this and move this around you are able to see the audio file uh, going here and there just select this one and drag this around as you can see you can control the audio with this and I'll select this keyframe accordingly you can even move this around if you are like no this should be a little hearable and here it should decrease completely and increase gradually so this is one way of adding keyframes uh, to the audio 
and uh, you can also add another keyframe like this and then control like this so what is this uh, this is a gradual decrease and then the audio is constant so if you want like uh, you're talking something important at this point so it will keep the audio constant at this and then it will gradually increase this is one type of second type of the keyframing that you can be done so that is that's it guys with this video on audio keyframing if you have watched till here then do hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more film or related tutorials see you guys in another video till then see ya